Miami. We made it. It was a pretty simple and straightforward travel day. Um, everything went really well. It is 10, 18 now. We landed at like 7.30 had to wait for our gate so that took a while and then we also had to wait for another cast member who was landing a little bit later than us and then we drove like 40 minutes to the studios gorgeous green wall behind me get used to that you're gonna be seeing that for the next couple of vlogs because that is our room the rehearsal facilities are gorgeous the housing is less gorgeous but it does the job it's fine <laughs> our first day is tomorrow we start at 10 30 i think so probably gonna just like head to bed wake up early shower get ready and um i'll take you along for the day tomorrow for our first day of rehearsals okay so my initial idea was to vlog all of our first day but I got a little bit overwhelmed because meeting 16 new people and just like shoving a camera in their face and like constantly filming I always feel a little bit weird so I try not to do that too much anyway I didn't film a lot of the first day but it was pretty uneventful honestly we just had a orientation where they talked to us for like two hours about all the things that Robert and I already know because we've done a contract before and then we just learned our welcome aboard song it's been kind of like a whirlwind I haven't even unpacked because we literally just moved into this new room so let me give you a little tour all right this is where you walk in there's Robert doing some music things at his desk and then there's another desk for me we pushed the beds together they obviously weren't together like that there's a little table over there a closet honestly nothing super special over here this is the little kitchen that we have so very small it's green along with the green wall but I think I'm just gonna unpack and finally get settled because I feel like the last day and a half I've just been like living out of my suitcase so I'm excited to unpack feel settled for the next six weeks <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that Robert and I have already ordered for our cabin. I know we're still like, what, like five weeks out from going to the ship, but we're not flying. So we can stuff our bags as full as we want because we don't have to worry about weight. So we figured we'd get everything now and then just get on the ship and be ready to go. So the first thing we got, magnetic shelves. I can't believe that this is the first contract that I've gotten these. It'll just be nice to have a little extra space for random things if you don't know all the walls in the cabin are magnetic so and these hold i think up to like eight pounds robert got a like kettle cup so it's it's literally just like a thermos but it plugs in so you put the water in it it heats it up and then you can just drink it directly out of this so it's kind of like a workaround to have a kettle don't tell anyone um just the USB C and a usb cube it has both of them on here so we can just minimize the amount of cubes that we're using because there's usually not a ton of outlets in the room sometimes there's a power strip in there but i don't think power strips are really allowed no but people use them we don't use them <laughs> the last thing we got is hello a shower head um the, shower filter. a shower filter <laughs> the water on the ship is filtered like a million bajillion times and so it I don't know if it's like hard water. It's just like really filtered. Like so we're gonna filter water. it again. <laughs> so wait, why do we have a filter now that I'm thinking about it's it? because there's gonna be like lots of chemicals that they use to like clean the water. Okay, so we're and gonna reuse chemicals. like certain water. Like I think the gray water goes through and gets cleaned and uh. then reused. So there's like all these chemicals in it, I think. I don't know. I feel We've like been told that people always get filters and that they've seen a difference. I just like didn't really think it through. I was like, wait, we're filtering it again. But I, yeah, you're probably right. It is right. clean, just, like, but it's just all the, I think it's all the hard chemicals to yeah. keep the water safe. But the last thing that we do have to figure out is an international phone plan of some sort. Last year when we were in Europe, we used the Arlo eSIM, who is actually the sponsor of today's video. Working on a ship means that you're in a different country pretty much every single day. And so the Arlo eSIM makes it super convenient because it's digital. So that means you don't have to go to a physical location to have a SIM card put into your phone. It's all on your phone already. And then you also don't have to worry about having a huge roaming bill when you get back home because you accidentally turned your service on and it charged you for the day. Plus it has over 200 countries and regions available. So there's definitely gonna be 
an option for wherever you're going. It's really simple to use. All you have to do is download the Aerolo app, find the location that you're going, install it on your phone, and then when you get to your destination, you'll just turn it on and you'll be ready to go. Like I said last year when we were in Europe, we used the European option, obviously. This year we're gonna be in the Caribbean, so the island hopper would be the best option for us. And it's great because I can see right here in the app all of the ports that it's gonna be available in. Now, when I get off the ship, I don't have to worry about wasting my time finding Wi-Fi because honestly, in today's day and age, we really do need service for a lot of things, whether it's just like looking up where you wanna eat or using it for navigation or something more important like checking your banking. Oh, and you get to keep your phone number, which makes it so much easier to stay in contact with people while you're gone, especially when we're gone for like seven months. I know that I'm not missing, you know, any texts from anyone because I get to keep my phone number. If you want to check out Aerolo, use the link in my description and download the app. And then you can also use my code for $3 off your first eSIM. I think for the most part, we have everything that we need. Is there anything else we have to order, Robert? No, yeah, we've Gonna Something will come up, I'm sure. That we'll think of. Blanket and a yeah, we always like to have hamper. blankets, a little yeah, hamper. At the end of the day, it's just stuff that we want. It's not all necessary, but we do like to have it. So I think we're just gonna eat dinner and chill for the rest of the night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning! We have another full day of rehearsals today. It is super rainy and gloomy out. It's actually been like thundering and lightning all morning. It's kind of clearing up a little bit. I don't know. I think it's supposed to rain all day. But I don't start until 11.30. Robert had to be in at 9.30. So I've just been enjoying the rain and having a pretty slow morning. So it's 10 o'clock now and I kind of wanted to go over there by 10.30. Um, and get a little bit of a workout in before rehearsal starts. Some of you guys may know on my last contract, I was a dancer and then on this contract, I am a singer. And so I'm not moving my body nearly as much as I was when I was a dancer in rehearsals. And so I have to, you know, keep myself <laughs> in shape rather than, you know, the dance kind of doing that for me um, and being like built into my day. Hold on, I need to grab my bagel because this toaster doesn't work so like the timer doesn't work so you'll put it on and it will just stay in here forever and then this doesn't work so you have to literally like break it to open it now i don't even know what i was gonna say because i was worried about my bagel so i'm having a bagel and then i'm having some grapes and strawberries for breakfast okay i'm gonna eat this and then i'll be back this is the fit for the day all black um this I guess it's a set. It's from Old Navy. It's like um, ribbed. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there's some deodorant. So this is the fit. Um, minus the Crocs. I won't be wearing the Crocs today. Okay, I need to take my vitamins, do all my supplements and things. And by that, I mean I just take an adult gummy vitamin. And then I've been taking Armra, the colostrum that is all over every single social media platform, I feel like. I was influenced. And so far, I can't say that I've noticed a big difference. It does say that it can take, I think, like eight weeks to really start to feel the effects of it. So it's definitely possible that it just hasn't like started working yet. Um, or it has, but it's like a slow burn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I have just been like having a little bit of water in the rest of my water bottle and pouring it in here, shaking it up and drinking it. Like <laughs> the most not aesthetically pleasing way to take this. But it says to just pour a scoop directly into your mouth or to add to any cool beverage. So that's why I've been doing it to this. I feel like doing a scoop directly in my mouth is not going to be good. But I feel like we should try it together. Five, six, seven, eight. It just made like one big clump in my mouth. It's like stuck to the roof of my mouth. Ah. Mm -mm. Okay. Won't be doing that again. Okay, it tastes fine. Like it's, but like the way that it clumped and is stuck to my gums now. No, I didn't like that. Okay. We're going to stick with the water bottle method. Okay. I'm going to pack my bag up and head over to the gym.
right now. <laughs> because of rain outside. Robert and I decided to stay here for lunch. <laughs> that is just wet. And the... Oh, yeah. Buckets here. We've got buckets here. of all the flooding yesterday and they thought it was going to be really bad again today but it hasn't rained at all today so the news did say that it was going to be another day of like flooding so robert and i are walking to publix to go to the grocery store hopefully we don't get rained on in the process right yeah this is flooded a little bit this is the parking lot um she is flooded ah! <laughs> We're walking in the median because it's flooded on both sides of us. Okay, we got back right as it started to pour rain, so our timing was perfect. The walk was rough, but we made it. We had to walk in the middle of the street for a little while. But we got a ton of stuff, so hopefully we'll be good for a while. It's hard to decide what to get because we're only here for six weeks. So you do need like a decent amount of things, but you don't want to buy like a full spice rack or like a ton of stuff that you know you're not going to use in the six weeks. We got a lot of frozen stuff just because it's easier that way and then if we don't eat it, it won't go bad. We'll probably, honestly, I think I'm going to finish my book today. I'm reading, I actually don't know what it's called. The Quiet Tenant. Super good. I'm enjoying it. Probably review some material for our shows watch a movie and just enjoy the raininess. The raininess. The most important purchase. They were two for eight, so we had to get both. <laughs> we had to do it. filming this vlog and I realized that I didn't film an outro so I thought that I would just pop in and say thank you for watching um, in my next vlog I want to take you guys along for more like in-depth days of rehearsals and really show you what they're like I feel like now we're kind of settled in and have the first week like under our belt so I can show you a little bit more of the process but if you guys have any questions about what rehearsals are like or like what they entail let me know and i'll add those into next week's vlog so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye